Have you ever found yourself shrouded in a dense fog of loneliness? Has it ever seemed like the shadow of anxiety and depression will never fade away? These sticky and unpleasant emotions can get to anyone, even the ones seemingly strongest. However, ancient Stoics known for their tremendous resilience and bravery were not strangers to feelings of loneliness and seasonal depression. The difference is not in the existence of these emotions, but rather in the approach to dealing with them. Stoicism, the philosophical movement that originated and flourished in ancient Greece and Rome, provides invaluable knowledge that is incredibly applicable to today's emotional challenges. The philosophy that revolves around virtue, reason, and self-discipline strongly values accepting the moment as it is to reach inner common resistance amid chaos. In today's fast-changing world full of technological advances and social progress, Stoic teachings can lay a strong foundation for emotional health. Therefore, the goal of this article is to retrace ancient strategies and modify them for modern applications in battling lonely loneliness and depression. The integration of stoic practices must simplify the management of sticky emotions while also turning them into sources of growth and emotional affirmation. The following sections will explore well stoic remedies that address various struggles of life's emotional aspect. Some of the practical examples include finding ways of moving your body to harness physical energy and clear the headspace, develop self-grace to improve self-talk, and practice the art of satisfaction to appreciate the present. Each remedy will be explained in detail to show how it can be incorporated, making room for change in daily perspectives and routine, whether they involve providing you a view from above, the current problem connecting with others through shared pain or finding calm amid a storm. These strategies will arm you with the necessary tools to come out on top. Stoicism is not just about coping, but indeed about overcoming. This is your chance to begin a new chapter, embracing the role of the protagonist who thrives in the face of every challenge. By learning to accept and adjust, these stoic recommendations will enable you not only to survive but to live. Get ready to begin a transformational journey of self-discovery and self-reclamation. Embarking on this stoic formula journey will help you find the inner strength and resilience that the stoics of your had. The included chart outlines how you will be able to not just overcome loneliness and depression, but use them to fuel your ambitions and make the most out of your life. Join hands with us in this transformative stony that will grant us emotional liberty. Number 1. Move your body. Stoicism believes that physical action isn't just a question of health but also serves a potent medicine for the soul. More importantly, physical activity can serve as a potent weapon for combating loneliness and depression, as we'll see from the Stoic philosophy's response to these emotions. Physical activity is well documented to have a substantial influence on mental health and well-being. Regular exercise can help raise spirits and relieve the symptoms of depression by activating endorphins the body's natural antidote. However, the advantages are significantly more extensive. Physical activity helps one feel accomplished and can assist users function or focus on daily responsibilities. This latter idea is a critical curveball that one's brain generates more adverse feelings when one suffers from loneliness or depressions in greater activity proves to be an adequate solution. Additionally, physical therapy can be an excellent approach to maintain one's body synchronized. The results of incorporating physical activity into one's daily life do not have to be solely focused on modest modifications. They have to be focused on becoming more motivated. Mobility also is a subject. Even a quick stroll within and outdoor one's house last snow more than 10 minutes can rejuvenate one's brain and keep users close to one's ambient. Apart from this, sitting exercises and easy stretches also promote blood circulation, provide one the zing one needs. Furthermore, integrating the outside may make the work more bearable. The most of them went on nature excursions to refresh their brains of the ancient Stoics that combined their ideas with the environment in the then world. Users should visit a park or any wildlife for us nearby and enjoy the sights and nature. However, the same does not happen 
Users assume users should assume the positive characteristics to guarantee a happier existence. An excellent method to incorporate physical activities into users' life is to focus on daily commitments. Not only does housework engage others, but it also offers one a feeling of control in users' life. The unstructured world that can occur with loneliness and misery departs will be lessened. Whether one takes a step, one provides every step toward freedom. This small yet critical action is feasible for everyone, anywhere while the above journey demonstrates wonderful roadmaps to relieve isolation and depression. Number 2. Be a better friend to yourself. As we explore ways to combat loneliness and depression, it's crucial to also focus on cultivating a compassionate relationship with ourselves. Think of how you'd comfort a friend in tough times, offering a supportive shoulder or kind words or try greeting yourself with the same kindness. This self-compassion is about recognizing and accepting your imperfections with warmth, not criticism. The Stoics found strength through a balanced understanding of their own nature and the world. For us, this means acknowledging our feelings but not letting them define us. This can be especially freeing when dealing with loneliness or depression, which often intensify when we're caught up in negative self-talk. To nurture self-compassion, start by tuning into your inner dialogue. Notice when you're harsher on yourself than you would be on others. When you find yourself being self-critical, pause and gently reframe those thoughts. For example, instead of thinking, I shouldn't feel this way, remind yourself, it's okay to feel this way, what can I do to feel better? Setting realistic expectations is another key step. Accept that perfection is unattainable and that every small step forward is progress. This is particularly important when dealing with depression, where the sheer weight of emotions can make even minor tasks overwhelming. Journaling is another effective tool for developing self-compassion. Writing down your thoughts and feelings helps you process them more clearly and without judgment. This practice invites compassion and self-reflection, helping you explore your emotions and find constructive ways to address them. Incorporating self-care into your daily routine is also vital. Whether it's engaging in a hobby you love, meditating, or simply taking a moment to breathe deeply, these acts of kindness towards yourself can bolster your resilience against negative emotions. As we follow the stoic path, remember that being a good friend to yourself isn't just about easing loneliness or sadness temporarily, it's about building a sustainable foundation for mental and emotional health. Treating ourselves with compassion not only helps us face the challenges of loneliness and depression, but also strengthens our spirit. This not only improves our relationship with ourselves, but also boosts our ability to connect with others, fostering the cycle of positivity and mutual support. Number 3. Embrace Satisfaction Moving from the healing power of self-compassion to the stoic ideal of embracing satisfaction, we find a meaningful way to counteract loneliness and depression. This approach teaches us to cherish what we currently have rather than constantly seeking more, a mindset that's especially relevant in our consumer-driven society. Stoicism promotes a lifestyle of moderation and gratitude, suggesting that real contentment statement stems from appreciating the present moment and the things we already possess. Modern psychology supports this ancient wisdom, linking gratitude with better mental health. By embracing satisfaction, we acknowledge the abundance in our lives, steering clear of the endless pursuit of the next big thing that promises happiness. A practical way to foster this contentment is by practicing daily gratitude. Start or end your day by reflecting on three things you're thankful for. These don't need to be significant, even small pleasures like a quiet morning coffee or the comfort of a warm bed can make a profound impact. This habit shifts your focus from what's missing to what's present, enhancing overall life satisfaction and alleviating feelings of deprivation and depression. Setting boundaries on consumption, whether it involves material goods, social media, or information, is another useful technique. By reducing exposure to sources of envy and dissatisfaction, we can cultivate a healthier relationship with our desires. 
implementing clear limits like a budget for discretionary spending or specific times for social media use helps maintain focus on what genuinely brings us joy and fulfillment. Mindfulness also plays a crucial role in embracing satisfaction. By being fully present in the moment, whether eating, walking, or chatting with a loved one, we fully engage with the experience, savoring it instead of letting it slip by unnoticed. Mindfulness encourages us to relish the richness of everyday activities, curbing the impulse to chase after new thrills or possessions for happiness. Additionally, reflecting on past accomplishments and current blessings can deepen feelings of gratitude. Thinking about what you've achieved and the obstacles you've overcome can foster a sense of pride and lasting satisfaction that transcends the ephemeral happiness from acquiring new things. As we integrate these practices into our lives, we start to understand how the stoic method of finding satisfaction can effectively combat the loneliness and depression spurred by our relentless quest for more. By valuing what we have and discovering joy in life's simple aspects, we cultivate a resilient, content spirit capable of facing life's emotional challenges. This shift not only boosts our own well-being, but also enhances our interactions with others, spreading the warmth of gratitude and contentment and creating a positive impact throughout our communities. Number 4. Take a view from above. As we continue our exploration of stoic practices, let's delve into a transformative exercise known as the view from above. This method offers a powerful way to gain perspective on life's challenges, proving especially helpful for those feeling overwhelmed or isolated a common aspect of loneliness and depression. The view from above is essentially a mental simulation that enables you to gain a broader perspective on your circumstances. By imagining yourself at a great height, looking down on earthly events, you can begin to see your life's issues as smaller, integral parts of a larger whole. This bird's eye view places your personal struggles into the vast tapestry of human experience, highlighting how fleeting individual problems are and thus lessening their emotional grip on you. For instance, think about a time when you felt swamped by the pressures of work and personal responsibilities. Using the view from above, you can picture yourself looking down on your city, visualizing all the other people who are likely facing their own difficulties. This exercise not only reinforces that you are not alone in your struggles, but also helps reduce the perceived scale of your own problems. This stoic technique is also effective in alleviating feelings of isolation. It helps you see yourself as part of a larger community and world, countering the tunnel vision that frequently accompanies depression. By expanding your perspective, you understand that your issues, while important, are merely a piece of the broader human experience. This broader view can cultivate a sense of connectance with others, easing the solitude that often comes with personal challenges. Moreover, you can integrate the view from above into your daily life through practices like meditation or guided visualization. Spending a few minutes each day visualizing yourself as part of something larger can weave this perspective into your routine, continuously easing stress and loneliness. Adopting this practice not only boosts your personal resilience but also fosters a more empathetic outlook on life. Recognizing that everyone faces challenges can heighten your empathy towards others, leading to richer interactions and a stronger community bond. As we explore more stoic remedies for managing loneliness and depression, remember that your perspective on life's events can profoundly influence their impact. By embracing the view from above, you arm yourself with a robust tool to navigate life's complexities with a calmer, more grounded attitude. This stoic approach is not merely about easing personal distress, it aims to nurture a more compassionate and interconnected way of living. Number 5. Learn to suffer with others. As we explore stoic remedies for loneliness and depression, we uncover the profound concept of shared suffering and communal resilience. This stoic principle highlights the strength that comes from acknowledging that hardship is a universal part of the human experience and that sharing our struggles can make them more bearable. The idea of communal resilience is based on the belief that facing suffering together can foster a sense of solidarity. This solidarity not only lightens the individual's burden, but also fortifies the entire community. 
We see this in action in various settings, such as support groups for different challenges or community responses to natural disasters. Experiencing adversity together can create bonds that are both healing and empowering, reminding us that we are not alone in our struggles. To tap into the power of shared experiences in combating loneliness and depression, it's helpful to actively engage with communities where personal struggles are understood. This could involve joining a support group for depression or participating in community activities or online forums where empathetic exchanges are common. Connecting with others who face similar challenges provides not only emotional comfort, but also practical insights into managing these difficulties. Sharing your own experiences is another powerful way to connect with others. Storytelling is a potent tool that helps the storyteller process their own emotions and provides comfort to listeners who may see their own struggles reflected in the narrative. This act of sharing can reduce feelings of isolation and create support networks that promote recovery and understanding. Encouraging open discussions about mental health and emotional well-being in your immediate circles, like with family, friends, or colleagues, also helps create a culture of transparency and support. Normalizing these conversations could diminish stigma and cultivate a more supportive community environment. Integrating these practices into your life not only helps alleviate personal feelings of loneliness and depression, but also contributes to building a more empathetic and resilient community. By learning to suffer together, we share not just our burdens, but also our ability to recover and find joy. This reinforces the stoic belief that through the communal sharing of hardships, we gain strength. This approach doesn't trivialize individual pain, but rather places it within a broader collective context, offering both a new perspective and a communal path to emotional well-being. Number six, ask for help. As we move from the communal strength found in shared experiences, we now explore another crucial stoic remedy, asking for help. Recognizing the need for support when dealing with emotional difficulties represents a significant strength, not a weakness. This action is essential in overcoming loneliness and depression, as it involves breaking through the silence and isolation that often accompany these conditions. The Stoics celebrated the virtues of wisdom and courage, which are particularly relevant when it comes to seeking help. It takes courage to acknowledge one's vulnerabilities and wisdom to recognize when you need assistance. By normalizing the act of seeking help, we can break down the stigmas that often prevent people from reaching out, fostering a healthier, more supportive approach to mental health. There are many resources available for those struggling with emotional challenges. On a personal level, reaching out to trusted friends or family members can be an effective first step. These people know us well and can provide immediate and empathetic support. However, it's important to remember that while loved ones can offer significant comfort, they might not always have the tools to provide professional advice. Professionally, therapy is a valuable resource. Therapists are trained to help individuals understand their emotions and develop strategies to effectively manage depression and loneliness. Therapy can occur one-on-one -on -one or in group settings, such as support groups where individuals can share their experiences in a structured environment guided by a professional. Thanks to technological advancements, virtual support has become increasingly accessible. Online therapy platforms, mental health apps, and virtual support groups provide community and tools at the touch of a button, offering flexible options for those with busy schedules or those who prefer the privacy of online resources. Local community centers also often offer workshops and seminars aimed at developing skills to manage emotional health, which can be excellent resources. Additionally, for immediate support, helplines and crisis centers provide urgent care and guidance, ensuring that no one has to cope with severe emotional distress alone. As we continue to explore stoic remedies from managing loneliness and depression, remember that asking for help is a powerful tool that leverages both community resources and personal networks. It allows individuals not only to receive support, but also to build their resilience by understanding that no one has to face life's challenges alone. This step is about empowering oneself to take control of their emotional well-being by utilizing every available tool fostering a community that supports mental health and collective well-being. 
Number 7. Focus on your path. After discussing the importance of asking for help, we now explore another vital stoic strategy for managing loneliness and depression, focusing on your own path. This practice involves setting personal goals and staying true to your own journey, without being swayed by comparisons with others. The Stoics believe that the truest path to happiness is to live in alignment with one's own nature and virtues, which means understanding and embracing your unique journey. In today's world where social media constantly showcases and idealizes the lives of others, it's easy to feel inadequate or derailed by comparisons. However, focusing on your own path can protect you from these distractions and significantly enhance your mental well-being. To stay focused and motivated, it's crucial to set clear, achievable goals that resonate with your values and aspirations. Start by pinpointing what matters most to you, whether it's career advancement, personal health, or family relationships. Establishing goals that align with these values acts as a roadmap and gives a sense of purpose, which is especially empowering during periods of loneliness or depression. Another effective strategy is to break larger goals into smaller, manageable tasks. This approach not appear less overwhelming, but also provides frequent opportunities for success, boosting your morale. Each small victor refuels your motivation and keeps you engaged with your journey. Incorporating mindfulness into your routine can also help you stay true to your path. By focusing on the present and the task at hand, you can avoid distractions and minimize feelings of overwhelm. Mindfulness cultivates a state of flow where you are completely immersed in an activity, increasing both satisfaction and productivity. Keeping a journal is another helpful tool for maintaining focus. Regularly documenting your thoughts, progress, and reflections can clarify your goals and the necessary steps to achieve them. It also creates a tangible record of your journey, helping you see your progress and make any need adjustments. Finally, celebrating your progress, no matter how small, is crucial. Recognizing and rewarding your achievements can strengthen your motivation, your commitment to your personal goals. This act of self-recognition is key to building self-esteem and combating the negative feelings associated with loneliness and depression. As we delve further into Stoic remedies, remember that focusing on your path isn't about isolating yourself from others. Instead, it's about fostering a deep connection with your life's purpose. This connection enables you to face life's challenges with resilience and grace, ensuring your journey is fulfilling and true to your inner self. Number 8. Remember the impermanence of things. Expanding on the theme of focusing on one's own path, we encounter another significant Stoic principle, the impermanence of all things. This Stoic reflection on the transient nature of life is a valuable tool for alleviating feelings of despair and loneliness. Stoic philosophy teaches that everything around us are joys, pains and achievements are transient. By accepting this reality, we can alleviate the distress that comes from clinging to things we fear losing or enduring situations that seem unending. The mantra, this to shall pass, is a reminder that helps put our challenges into perspective, fostering a more balanced emotional state. To incorporate this understanding into daily life, various mindfulness and practices can be beneficial. These practices help us to live in the present moment and embrace life as it unfolds, without an excessive focus on past regrets or future worries. One effective technique is meditation, which can begin with a simple focus on breathing. By sitting quietly and observing the breath, as it enters and exits the body, you anchor yourself in the present. This not only calms the mind but also underscores the constant changes in life, reinforcing the concept of impermanence. Mindful walking is another technique that promotes awareness of the present moment. During mindful walking, fully engage with the experience, noting the sensations in your feet upon contact with the ground, the sounds in your environment, and the feel of the air on your skin. This practice turns an ordinary activity into a profound exercise in mindfulness, highlighting the fleeting nature of each moment. Journaling is an additional method that helps cultivate an appreciation for the present. 
By recording your daily experiences, thoughts, and feelings, you enhance your awareness of life's ongoing changes and become more adept at recognizing the temporary nature of both struggles and joys. This practice can be especially comforting during times of loneliness or depression, providing perspective that can mitigate these challenges. Incorporating these mindfulness practices into your routine solidifies the acceptance that nothing is permanent. This preparation not only enables you to handle life's inevitable changes with more grace but also reduces the fear and anxiety associated with uncertainty. As we continue to explore stoic remedies for loneliness and depression, it is important to remember that by acknowledging the impermanence of things, we can reduce our despair and learn to appreciate the transient beauty of life, thus enhancing our resilience and emotional well-being. Number 9. Embrace adversity. Building on the concept of embracing life's impermanence, another crucial stoic remedy involves embracing adversity. Rather than seeing challenges merely as obstacles, we can view them as opportunities for personal growth, a perspective shift that is vital for developing resilience and overcoming feelings of loneliness and depression. The Stoic saw adversity as an inherent part of life and a valuable teacher. By approaching difficulties with courage and viewing them as opportunities to strengthen our character, we can turn our experiences of hardship into sources of personal empowerment. This proactive approach not only alleviates the burden of challenges, but also enhances our ability to handle future adversities more effectively. One method to shift our perception of challenges is through reframing. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? We might ask, what can I learn from this experience? This change in perspective shifts our focus from feeling victimized to taking active control over our reactions and emotions. It encourages us to seek out the lessons embedded within hardships, providing insights that aid in our growth and emotional resilience. Building resilience through adversity also includes developing a strong support network. Surrounding ourselves with people who provide encouragement and understanding can significantly bolster our capacity to withstand tough times. Moreover, engaging in supportive relationships teaches us the value of mutual aid and empathy, essential for forming deep and meaningful connections. Another tool in this process is practicing gratitude. By actively recognizing the positive aspects of our lives, even during tough times, we can keep a balanced perspective that reinforces our resilience. Gratitude helps shift our focus from our deficits and challenges to the things that enrich our lives, uplifting our spirits and strengthening our resolve. Maintaining a routine of self-care is also critical when facing adversity. Ensuring that we are physically, emotionally, and mentally well-equipped provides the strength needed to confront challenges directly. This could involve regular physical exercise, meditation, or hobbies that bring joy and relaxation. As we continue exploring stoic remedies for managing loneliness and depression, we find that embracing adversity not only equips us to handle life's inevitable ups and downs, but also fosters growth at every opportunity. By seeing each challenge as a chance to develop and refine our virtues, we build a resilience that supports not just survival, but thriving a crucial step in transforming our emotional landscape and achieving lasting well-being. Number 10. Don't suppress your emotions. As we explore stoic remedies for managing emotions, a vital step is learning to accept and express our feelings rather than suppressing them. This acceptance aligns with stoic principles that advocate understanding and adapting to life's natural rhythms and is essential for maintaining mental health. Suppressing emotions, particularly negative ones like sadness or anger, can exacerbate stress, anxiety, and feelings of loneliness and depression. The stoic approach, however, encourages us to face these emotions directly, recognizing them as natural responses to life's challenges. By acknowledging and expressing our emotions, we can manage them more effectively and use them as opportunities for personal growth. To start practicing emotional acceptance, first try to identify and name your emotions without judgment. Simply acknowledging feelings like sadness, frustration, or loneliness can reduce their intensity and help you understand why they arose. This act of self-awareness is a crucial first step in emotional regulation. 
Once you've acknowledged your feelings, the next step is to express them in a constructive way. You might talk things out with a friend, write in a journal, or channel your emotions into creative activities such as painting or playing music. These forms of expression can prevent emotions from becoming overwhelming and allow you to transform them into lessons to personal growth. In addition to these methods, practical techniques like deep breathing, meditation, and mindfulness can also help manage intense emotions. For example, deep breathing exercises can calm the nervous system and lessen intensity, enabling clearer thinking and more effective responses to emotional situations. It's also helpful to set boundaries around emotional triggers by recognizing situations that typically upset you. You can plan ways to either avoid these triggers or face them with prepared responses. This proactive approach can reduce the impact of triggers and help you maintain emotional equilibrium. By choosing not to suppress your emotions but instead to recognize, express and manage them you adopt a stoic and psychologically healthy lifestyle. This method doesn't diminish the power of our emotional experiences, instead it enriches them providing a pathway to greater understanding and resilience. Number 11. Seek stillness. Building on the concept of managing emotions constructively rather than suppressing them, another effective stoic remedy for loneliness and depression is seeking stillness. This practice involves cultivating moments of quiet and tranquility to calm the mind and soothe the soul, providing a profound counterbalance to the often chaotic nature of modern life. The benefits of meditation and mindfulness are widely recognized for their ability to reduce stress, anxiety, and symptoms of depression. These practices focus our attention on the present moment, helping us step away from relentless thoughts about the past or future worries. This focus on the here and now quiets the mind and brings a sense of peace and clarity that can enrich our daily lives. To integrate stillness into your daily routine, start by setting aside a few minutes each day for meditation. This doesn't have to be a lengthy or complicated process. Even five minutes of sitting quietly and focusing on your breathing can yield substantial benefits. As you grow more accustomed to the practice, you can gradually extend this time. The key is consistency. Regular meditation that enhances its benefits and this as a court of your life. Another method to embrace stillness is by practicing mindfulness throughout the day during routine activities, such as eating, walking, or even while doing household chores. By fully engaging with the present moment during these activities and paying close attention to your senses and experiences, you can bring a sense of stillness and calm to even the most ordinary tasks. Creating a dedicated space for stillness in your home can also enhance this practice. This might be a small corner with a comfortable chair and soft lighting or a special cushion that signals to your body and mind that it's time to slow down. Having a specific area associated with calm and relaxation can make it easier to achieve a state of stillness. Furthermore, incorporating elements of nature into your environment or spending time outdoors can also facilitate finding stillness. Nature inherently possesses a quiet, restorative quality that can be elusive in urban settings. Whether it's a peaceful walk in the park or simply sitting in a garden, being in nature can naturally foster a tranquil state of mind. As we delve deeper into stoic remedies for managing loneliness and depression, it's important to remember that seeking stillness isn't about withdrawing from the world. Rather, it's about finding a peaceful inner sanctuary from which you can more fully engage with the world around you. This practice not only helps in calming the mind and soothing the soul, but also strengthens our ability to face life's challenges with clarity and serenity. Number 12. Accept things as they are. In tackling loneliness and depression, the stoic practice of acceptance stands out as a profound remedy. This involves embracing life as it is, rather than how we might wish it to be. While accepting reality can seem daunting, especially under tough circumstances, it proves to be a powerful path to peace and breeds turmoil. Stoic acceptance isn't about passive resignation, but rather about recognizing what we can control and what we cannot. The Stoics thought that while external events are beyond our control, we can control our reactions to them. By focusing on how we respond and accepting life's unpredictability, 
we can achieve a deep sense of tranquility and resilience. This form of acceptance frees us from the futile struggle against life's inevitable aspects, easing feelings of frustration and helplessness. To practice acceptance in everyday challenges, start by identifying what you can change and what you must simply accept. When faced with a situation that brings up negative emotions, consider whether you have the ability to change the circumstances. If not, shift your energy towards adjusting your mindset and emotional response. This doesn't lessen the difficulty of the situation, but allows you to reclaim your peace of mind. Mindfulness plays a crucial role in fostering acceptance. Regular practice helps you observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment, enabling you to acknowledge and accept your present experiences as they are. Whether it's feeling frustrated in traffic or feeling sad in a moment of solitude recognize them without immediately trying to change them can lessen that impact and help weave acceptance more deeply into your life. Using affirmations can also reinforce acceptance. Phrases like, I accept things as they are, or by let go of what I cannot change, serve as powerful reminders of this principle during stressful or difficult times. Additionally, maintaining a journal can aid in practicing acceptance. Writing about your experiences and how you apply acceptance in various scenarios can provide clarity and can track your progress. This acts as a reflective exercise, enhancing your ability to appreciate the benefits of accepting reality. As we wrap up our exploration of stoic remedies to loneliness and depression, it's important to remember that acceptance is a dynamic and proactive choice. It requires a continuous effort to acknowledge and embrace the present reality. Not only does this bring peace, but it also strengthens our resilience, enabling us to handle life's ups and downs with grace and composure. Throughout our exploration of stoic remedies for loneliness and depression, we've investigated a variety of strategies that the ancient Stoics used to build mental resilience and emotional well-being. These age-old philosophies offer not just comfort, but also practical steps that anyone can incorporate into their daily lives. We started by recognizing the power of physical movement in easing psychological distress and noted how regular exercise benefits our mental health. We then discussed the importance of self-compassion and treating oneself with the same kindness one would offer a good friend. Following that, we looked at the virtue of contentment learning to appreciate what we have instead of constantly seeking more, which can bring peace to our busy lives. We also covered the perspective shifting practice of viewing life from above to gain clarity and reduce feelings of being overwhelmed, which helps us see our place in the universe. We acknowledge the strength that comes from shared suffering and the value of community resilience, which remind us that we are not alone in our struggles. Additionally, we highlighted the crucial act of asking for help as a sign of strength and an essential move in managing mental health challenges. We discovered that focusing on one's own path, without comparing oneself to others, is vital for personal growth and sustaining motivation. Accepting the impermanence of life conditions allows us to live more fully in the present and less anxiety about the future. We discussed embracing adversity and turning our trials into opportunities for significant personal growth. Moreover, we learned about the importance of not suppressing our emotions, but instead expressing and managing them constructively through various techniques through emotional regulation. Seeking stillness through meditation and mindfulness practices helps calm our minds and we connect us with our core selves. Finally, accepting things as they are embracing reality with grace lays a foundation for peace and diminishes the struggle against the unchangeable. As we wrap up, I encourage you to deeply engage with these strategies and weave them into your everyday life. Each one provides a way not only to cope with but to thrive amidst the emotional challenges of modern life. By adopting these stoic practices, you can foster a resilient and joyful spirit. Let this exploration be just the beginning of your journey into Stoic philosophies. Continue delving into these teachings and integrating them into your life. Remember, each step in understanding and application not only aids personal growth, but also boosts our collective ability to lead more fulfilled lives. As you adopt these practices, share your experiences and insights with others, creating a community enriched with wisdom and support.